Two lawsuits have been filed over conditions inside the Otay Mesa Detention Center during the COVID-19 outbreak. The lawsuit was filed against Core Civic, the contractor that employs detention officers. As our 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo shows us, two officers claim the conditions inside the detention center forced them to resign. You know, they're struggling. They're uh, stressed out about losing their careers. They're uh, stressed out about the work environment that their coworkers are now forced to work in. Josh Grunberg is the attorney representing two former core civic employees at the Otay Mesa Detention Center. The federal lawsuits were filed separately but make similar allegations that core civic was quote aware of the grave nature of COVID-19 and that they failed to adequately respond to the pandemic. And their attitude was very cavalier. At one point, the warden commented that they were all going to get it anyway, so why bother? According to the court filing, both detention officers say Core Civic did not provide gloves or masks to the entire staff and that they prohibited the plaintiff and its other employees from wearing masks in the housing units. My clients wanted to wear masks. And the warden was not allowing that because she didn't want to freak out the population. The employees who both say they have underlying health conditions allege staff told them that if they provided masks to the detention officers, then it would scare the inmates or detainees and they would have to provide them to them as well, which would cause them to go over budget. We're talking basic PPE, right? We're talking gloves. We're talking hand sanitizer. We're talking about rags that were not changed out or exchanged after they were used. They would just simply reuse them. The complaint also states Core Civic did not provide sanitizer to staff, forcing both employees to resign from their jobs. Grunberg says one of the employees is currently on medical leave. Uh, leaving the job was not an easy decision for them. This is not something they wanted to do. This is something that they were forced to do. The lawsuit comes as the Otay Mesa Detention Center is battling a COVID-19 outbreak at the facility. As of Thursday afternoon, 98 detainees have tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement to 10 News, Core Civic responded to the lawsuits, saying that one of the plaintiffs is currently still employed at the Otay Mesa Detention Center. He has not resigned his employment, calling the allegation that he's been constructed terminated, confusing at best. The statement continues in part that from the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Otay Mesa Detention Center has taken affirmative and proactive measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. The spokesperson for the facility added that face masks have been provided to all staff and detainees and that disposable gloves are readily available for conducting searches and handling property. Addressing the allegations of cleaning and disinfecting the facility, Core Civic states staff adhere to the CDC recommendations for cleaning and disinfection during the COVID-19 response. Grunberg's clients are seeking compensatory damages and monetary relief. He says they're also looking for something more. We want them to start taking this seriously for the inmates and for the detainees. Laura Acevedo, 10 News. If you would like to read Core Civic's entire statement, you can find it on our website, 10news.com.